It's a college campus so pretty, you could set it to music. Nestled on the shore of Lake Hollingsworth in Lakeland, a national historic landmark called Florida Southern College. It's the home to the world's largest single-site collection of Frank Lloyd Wright architecture. The intent of Frank Lloyd Wright was to design an educational campus that would not be a copy of anything in the Orient or anything in Europe, but would be distinctly American. This international gem is known as Wright's Child in the Sun, and it all started with a simple request from Florida Southern's then president, Dr. Lud Spivey. Lud Spivey sent Frank Lloyd Wright a telegram on April 1st in 1938 and said, come build the first uniquely American temple to higher education. Frank Lloyd Wright sent back the telegram giving the date he would arrive. That simple. Wright designed 22 structures. 12 were constructed, including his only planetarium, his last specifically designed window of his career, his only theater in the round, which provides quite the voice trick when you stand in the center spot. The centerpiece of this collection is the Water Dome, Frank Lloyd Wright's tribute to education, his fountain of knowledge. The water symbolizes how that knowledge grows during the students' time here. Jets hurl the water as high as 45 feet in the air as long as weather conditions are right. The slightest breeze forces the water height lowered so the whole campus doesn't get soaked. It's a special uh, aura that comes over people frequently when they visit these structures. And more than 70 years later, another Wright structure will join the collection. He originally created Usonian houses as faculty homes. This one will be Florida Southern's new tourism center. Handmade blocks made to Wright's original design specifications are shipped in from Massachusetts. They must fit perfectly since no mortar can be used. In this, everything's visible, so <laughs> errors are not approved and accepted. They've got to be exact to everything they do. The subs have died to be able to come in and be a part of this process, just to be able to have worked on a Frank Lloyd Wright house. Continuing Wright's work, a former Frank Lloyd Wright scholar has added to Florida Southern's architecture. Robert A. M. Stern's creations, like the Christopherson Humanities Building, honor Wright's philosophy incorporating space and nature into design. Ironically, Florida Southern does not have an architecture major yet, but visitors are welcome to tour the campus that Architecture Digest names among the top 10 campuses in the nation and the Princeton Review's most beautiful campus in the nation. For thousands of how-to and advice videos on any topic, visit monkeysee.com.